Nasty day across the region. My goodness, that heavy rainfall really kicking in late last night for the better part of today, on and off, really causing lots of flash flooding. And we still have flash flood problems out there right now. Live look coming in from the WLKY News Chopper, looking back towards Louisville. You can hardly see it there with the low visibilities, the rain, the clouds that are rolling through still. But we are almost, almost, almost done with the rain. Great news because we need a chance to dry out. As a matter of fact, listen to this. In Fern Creek at the fire station number three, a two day total of 8.22 inches of rain, eight and a quarter inches of rain. And by the way, today alone, 6.67. No wonder we're having water issues across the region. Still some scattered showers, as you can see on the lens from the chopper here, but things will be improving quite a bit as we move deeper into the evening. All right, now a tornado watch remains posted for about the south uh, one half of the viewing area. Technically, until 10 o'clock tonight, folks, I think this is going to be chiseled away here in the next few hours. I think the threat for severe weather is dropping off the table. It's pretty much gone in Louisville already. If there is a threat for severe weather, it's our far southeastern communities, and that will only last for the next hour or two. We're still dealing with flash flood warnings across a good chunk of the viewing area. E-Town over to near Hardinsburg, up through Louisville, including Bullitt County, of course, and then out eastbound the I-64 corridor where the heaviest rain has fallen the last 12 to 24 hours. Here comes yet another batch of showers in across Jefferson County, heavier downpours, southern Floyd County, out into southeastern sections of Harrison County. So, yeah, we still have some heavy downpours to get through the next hour or two, and then after that, once the cold front really gets through here, things will start to dry out and calm down considerably. You can see where the heavier rain is located, at least the persistent heavier showers, now off to the east and southeast of the metro, and it's that line that still has at least a threat for some strong wind gusts. As far as the tornado threat is concerned around the viewing area, I think that's pretty much non-existent as well, but we'll watch it close for you just in case. You can see the tornado watch is posted from Kentucky and points off to the south. Otherwise, just lots and lots of wet weather moving across the region the past couple of days. The good news, there's the cold front. It's pretty much right on top of Louisville. As it continues to push in, drier air will funnel in from the west and northwest and things will be dramatically improving. As a matter of fact, the farther west you go, look at this, skies are clearing nicely across the central and also the southern plains. High pressure is building in, pretty strong area of high pressure. Winds really kicking up from the northwest, and it's gonna turn a little bit windy throughout the course of tonight, first half of the night, as that cooler and drier air builds in. But you know what? As that high builds in, sunshine, sunshine on the way for tomorrow and that's going to last through Easter Sunday as well. All right, outside right now, boy, it's kind of blustery, and it is wet out there with the passing showers. Temperatures right now are basically in the low to middle 60s. Humidity, sky high, 90%. But now, a northwest breeze at 8 miles an hour, and that's a, a nice signal to see because that means the cold front is now working through. Here's the forecast. For the next few hours, improvements on the way. 60s will push back into the 50s. Showers and storms will be diminishing as it turns breezy and cooler. 10 o'clock tonight, cloudy skies, but it will be quite blustery and cool. We're down to 53. Hey, we're going to wake up to a chilly start. 37 in the morning, but we will see lots of sunshine. Holding on to a lot of sunshine midday through tomorrow afternoon. We're 52 midday, going up to 58 tomorrow afternoon. 68, still a beautiful Easter Sunday on the way. And then, Vicky, it turns unsettled again. I mean, these, this isn't going to be an all all day rains next week, but scattered showers are back in the forecast by late Monday and also into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Something so. the saturated ground doesn't need already. Exactly, and boy, it is saturated. So these next two days we're going to get with sunshine and dry skies. That's really, really needed. All right.